Experience shows there is no more lasting investment a country can make than education. Since 2000, all of us, national governments, civil society, the private sector, UN agencies, and most importantly, parents, have worked to put more children into classrooms and we've made great progress toward the Millennium Development Goal of achieving universal primary education. Nous avons une occasion historique de mettre l'éducation au cœur de la machine du développement durable et nous devons la saisir pour assurer une éducation équitable et inclusive de qualité ainsi qu'un apprentissage tout au long de la vie pour tous d'ici 2030. The good news is that we know much more about what works today than we did 15 years ago. We are committed to helping countries translate data and evidence into action. Technology can be used to leapfrog current practices, plugging isolated teachers and students into connected classrooms for the 21st century. Teachers, of course, still have the central role to play. Everything I am today, I owe to education, including textbooks donated by the United Nations agencies, UNESCO, and UNICEF. Every child deserves that global solidarity. Education is not a privilege, it is a birthright. When we thus empower the most disadvantaged children with education, especially in their mother tongue, equip them with skills, and enable them better to achieve their goals, they will not only build a more positive future for themselves, they will someday, as adults, narrow the inequalities in their generation and in the generations to follow. Girls from rural areas, ethnic minorities, and indigenous groups continue to have the lowest levels of literacy and education. These are the girls that need to be targeted. And of course, let us never forget the many millions of children suffering the double disadvantage of living in natural disaster or conflict, who have lost not only homes and families and friends, but they are losing the hope that should be a part of every childhood. For them, a school can be a lifeline, so that when the catastrophe is over or the conflict resolved, they have the skills to rebuild their societies and the desire to find reconciliation. Students in danger zones have the courage to keep going to school despite the threats. We have a collective responsibility to reply to their bravery by raising our voices for their rights. They may kill a few innocent children, but nobody can ever kill the books, nobody can ever kill the pencils, nobody can ever kill the education. Education is a power which will shape and change the world, a better world for our children. We also know that when a girl picks up a pencil and started writing down, the power of millions of guns get beacons. 